This is Sydney Central Station, and this video marks the first of my new series where I'm remastering my old videos. So basically, this video today is where I climb the Central Station Clock Tower and get a surprise tour underground in Central Station. I get to go underneath Platform 1, have a look at a secretive car park, and a very secret tunnel which no one has ever seen before. I'll also be delving into the history of Central Station and having a clear view of the former RC Henderson building before it lit up in flames in 2023. Sydney Central Station opened on the 4th of August 1906 and since then it's been operating services such as intercity, regional and suburban services for over 100 years. The station consists of roughly 27 platforms but you can also add on 29 platforms as of 2024 as they do have double uh, platforms 26 and 27. So there is one platform 26 and 27 for the new City Metro City and South West Line which will be opening very soon. And then another one which used to be, which was originally planned to be, I believe for the Eastern Suburbs Line, a special sort of line that headed up north for platforms 26 and 27. So yes, technically it goes from one platforms 1 to 14 and then it skips 15 and then it goes from 16 to 25 and then it goes from 26 to 27 to 26 to 27. Very confusing, but that's all the platforms at Central Station. It's now time to climb the Central Station Clock Tower. An interesting fact about the Central Station Clock Tower is that although the station opened in 1906, this clock tower actually did not open until 1921. This was due to the clock tower being incomplete when the station was opened, meaning that the clock tower is currently 103 years old as of February of 2024. If you're keen on seeing some more historical photos of Sydney Central Station and a brief history, then check out Museum's History of New South Wales' website and also on the tag in the top right of the screen and to thank them for having some pictures up online that I can use in this video. It's now time to continue our climb up the Central Station Clock Tower. Now you may notice some text at the bottom. This is from the original video. And uh, another reason is that I have muted the video as well because I'll have to do it for a quick flash, but it has copyrighted music and um, I just decided to blast out music and a horrible quality robot voice. How dare you? My voice is beautiful and I'm so handsome. It's because at the time I was too nervous about doing my actual voice, which I'm currently doing right now. But um, yeah, so I'll give you a bit of a snippet of what the video actually sounded like. But as mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can find it in the description below or in the tag section also in the description. And you can find the original video, which I wish you luck for watching the full, I think, eight, nine, eight or nine minutes of the video as uh, it is very ear piercing. We are now heading up again to behind the clock faces. So there are several sub levels on the Central Station Clock Tower. Originally, you could see at the start of the video a huge stairwell that kind of went quite far down. This is then when we got into a little bit more of an enclosed area and the stairs got more and more and more inaccessible. Uh, the next ones coming up are some kind of swirly stairs, I guess you could call them. Um, and then it ends up getting to ladders and extremely tight ladders, which you'll soon see in the video. It's now time to admire the view of Central Station and the surrounding area. It's now time to take a very quick look at the RC Henderson building as well. This building unfortunately burnt down on the 25th of May 2023 after an arson attack by teenagers. Yes, teenagers. Um, here's some clips here of the fire. It was quite extreme. And um, yes, unfortunately a heritage building did have to be demolished. And the next day after, which I'll link in the top right of the screen, I um, went to the Sydney Metro Operations Centre and at the beginning of the video, I visited Central Station literally hours after the uh, incident and uh, there was ash flying all over Central Station. The alarms in Central Walk were going off, so it was quite confronting. So yes, that video will be in the top right of the screen and in the description below. We then head up the swirly stairs to the next level for a better view. We 
we then head up some more swirly stairs and reach a very claustrophobic area. So, to any people who have claustrophobia, stop watching. And we are now on the second highest floor of the clock tower. This is the behind the scenes of the clock itself. These are all the mechanical gears and stuff that control the clock. And this is the box in the middle that um, houses them all. We can see all the four faces of the clock from behind. This is what it looks like on the outside and of course what it looks like on the inside here. Now, luckily I was able to go up an extra story, which is normally only for staff, so luckily I was able to take a look, so thank you to our tour guide for that. Here are some reviews from the clock tower. Unfortunately, this brings an end to our clock tower tour, but for what most of you came here for is the underground tour of Central Station. These are the secret tunnels underneath Platform 1 and pretty much the entire Sydney terminal of Central Station. Unfortunately, I'm not able to take a look at Platforms 26 and 27, the old ghost platforms, as um, obviously now they are, at the time they were under construction for Sydney Metro uh, ventilation and facility works, I believe, that we're going to use those platforms for. So, um, yeah, this is now when we head down into the underground area. We go down through this secret stairwell, I guess you could call it, from Platform 1. And then we head into this rather old, disused sort of area. So, from what I learned, these used to be kind of the main office areas nearly 100 years ago at Central Station. And in the corner of the walls to the right just there... Um, bit unpleasant, but uh, I guess you could call them slaves, as back then that's what they were. These slave workers, um, they... Me dear, call of nature. ...in um, those trenches in the corner of the wall, which is a little disgusting, but um, oh well. That's what you get when you take a look at something that's 100 years old. But um, anyway, so we're now heading into um, a couple of the little rooms and offices. So uh, just here is uh, the one of the first offices. Um, now, I'm a little confused about a window. Um, do let me know in the comments if you know what it might be for. Uh, maybe the uh, area used to not be underground, but there was quite a nice looking window there. This is then when we head into what was the old jail cell. So for fare evaders um, who decided to not pay for their fare on the um, public transport network were taken to Central Station and chained up such um, like a jail cell as uh, they had like the... Uh, Rail Authority Transport Police, which um, were only taken out of action about a decade or so ago. We then continue our walk down, or up, I should say. <laughs> oh, look at the top of his head! <laughs> Back of his neck looked like a sterling steak burger. <laughs> oh, he tried it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is then when we head into 
what is another one of the most secretive channels um, in Central is um, uh, directly underneath platform number one. This tunnel just here is a secret kind of services tunnel that is very rarely known, like barely only a handful of people know um, that it does exist. But um, yeah, it's actually really interesting under there. So here are a couple of photos from there. And also on our way through the underground area, we came across this. So uh, for some reason, there was a door with Bat Cave written on it. So uh, almost makes me wonder if maybe the Sydney trains staff meet up there for their secret meetings. You'll never know. Just have to sign up at Sydney trains and find out. Now, unfortunately, as it, this was filmed back in 2022 in uh, October, uh, I wasn't that invested on actually getting videos of the underground area, um, as well I wasn't too much focused on making YouTube videos, obviously, because back then I wasn't earning anything from it. I got, like, 200 views per video, which was nothing. But, um, yeah, do apologise for that, but that is unfortunately all of the video recording. So that now means that we bring this video towards an end. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, let me know if I should continue my new remastering series as I plan to um, potentially do another video that I've been thinking of um, re-editing soon. Um, make sure you check out the original version at your own risk, as uh, it is very cringy, and uh, yeah, I don't really like it. But um, I will modify it and make sure it shows original version and show the new links to the updated version of the video. But um, yeah, do let me know if you would like some more videos like this, and also let me know if you'd like a more brief explanation video on Central Station and the history of the station, as I'd certainly be up to do that. So do let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video on Central Station and its history, as I know that the video with the D-sets and its history and future did go quite well. But anyways, everyone, that is all for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys all again very soon. Cheers. Thank you